Okay. This okay. Okay, it opened up a bit. And if I turn D, it can do a uh, C, I think, should be closed. So this floats. And maybe one shouldn't be. No, it's not enough for this. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting. Wait. Um. Okay, so for now it's open. Left. So this side is open. This is not. not go through the electro no so water should go through the electrolyzer but I cannot close this unless I do do it like hmm how can I make it so it goes like this No, I don't want this to be closed. I want this to be closed. What do I? No, I actually want this one to be closed. So I need to maybe one. Not possible. So the one I think all closes this side. Yeah, this right now this is closed. I want like I want this one to go. If possible, go through the electrolyzer, but not go through here. What happens if I tamper with C? Okay. They want to tamper with any of those. I need three for some reason. So, C. That I think. Hmm. No. Those make no sense for me whatsoever. Those three. Hmm. 
nothing about this. If we change the E, maybe? It closes this path, but we need it. Need both of them. you do it? Gorky, don't. You didn't follow. I thought you were only sent. Uh, it's complicated. Sometimes I get distracted. So I also have an attention deficit disorder now. I'm not surprised at all. I know you love my cute imperfections. Sure, sure. Anyway. I rewired the pipes to use the emergency chemical absorption electrolyzer. Wow, that's a mouthful. But it's just a temporary solution. I don't know how long it will last. The main direct electrolyzer is damaged. Yes, that's very bad news. How about that? We can fix it, right? Uh, Carl? This is the second maid of the war. Give it to me. Did you just hang up on me, Carl, you pirate scum? I'm having some problems here. Oh, I'm sorry. What caused that then? I don't know. Just some systems are just failed. Well, I have way more problems here, Carl. And you know what's the cause? You, the you treacherous wretch. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to fire a couple of warheads at you to prevent you from contacting your pirate friends. I don't know what happened, but please, you must keep looking. Do you just ignore me when I mention warheads? Do you need me to explain? I don't... Let me use simple and rather ominous words. From dust you came, to dust you will return, and I mean right fucking now. Find the Bento coordinates immediately, and prepare two GU warheads. What? I wasn't talking to you, though I'll admit I wanted to hit you to hear. This is completely insane, you're out of your mind. I know, right? Girl... It's not a good moment, Corky. If the captain is serious, maybe this is a good moment to consider hiding the station. Tell me, do we have the Bento coordinates? Working as fast as possible, Captain. Hmm? What can, what can we do about those warheads? Nothing. We're doomed. So long, my good friend. Corky, be serious. Can't we fool their systems into hitting something else, like a chaff? A chaff? You know, those things that the fighters release to scramble missile radars. Ah, no. Those things work only if a missile target is moving, and anyway, we have nothing of the sort. So how would you hide the bento? We can fool the warheads paying discovery routines. Okay, good. How? You could disable the bento's own ping replies and replicate their signature onto the one of the nearby satellites. Nice, you're ingenious when you want to be gorky. Yes, I am. I am genius. Yes, I am. I said ingenious, not genius. Hmm, I'll take it. Um, how can I mock the Bento signal on a satellite? 
use the discovery panel to open a console connection with the satellite. One of them should allow to modify their ping settings so that you can override them with the Pentas configuration and then boom! The warheads will hit the satellite instead. Hmm. How do I hate the Pento? Use the discovery panel to open a console connection with the Pento. You should find something there. Discovery panel. Oh, suspension of disbelief. Mm, also, return of my retrieval tool for a OAC private case of a tour. The first test indicates how many correct private keys key digits you enter regardless of the correct position, or the second e key. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a moment. Um. Hmm. It has something to do with those. I can play cards. Okay, uh, let's take all of them. Mm, and let's see. I mean, here? Okay, um, this is three, this is two, this is four, so let's start with the lowest. Okay. Mm. It looks like no, not this one. This one. Oh, I found the Pendus public key. Its private key is hidden, though. I'm going to use this post-it to keep track of anything that can help me mark the Pendus discovery signal. Okay, public key B code two. Okay. And um, okay, let's try another one. Three. Okay, let's go. Oh, Salvatore used this to hack pay per view streaming services. If I use it with the Pentos public key, I should be able to retrieve his private key. Um, and it's B code to B. B A B E A C O two. Hmm? Okay, this is something with the Salvatore's handwriting. He must have tampered with the Bentos hardware in classic Salvatore style. The first dice indicates how many correct private key digits you entered, regardless of the correct position. Well, the second dice gives you a hint in order to find the correct position of the digits you entered. It tells you how much you must move to a wrong place digit to put it in the correct position. For example, if you insert a digit in the second position, but the correct position was the fifth, it gives you the distance between two and five, which is three. If multiple digits are misplaced, it only gives you the largest of such distance and ignores the others. Uh... Wait, first one. Uh, I want to try something. Two five one three great. Oh no, it's it copies this. So here I'll put a B. No. <laughs> still shows me two. So I have two correct ones? Mm. Three. So it tells me I have three correct on whatever positions. Okay, and if I... It shows me two. Okay. Two. So here... 
zero four one okay F still four five five it will be the last one we're gonna check Okay, we have all of them and four, so which means, um, what was that? Uh, second dice gives you a hint in order to find the correct position of the digits you entered. It tells you how much you must move our wrong place digit to put it in the correct position. If you insert our digit in the second position, but the correct position was the fifth, it gives you the distance between two and five, which is three. Okay, so it gives me four. One, two, three, four. So those two should be changed. A and F. Are where are those damn coordinates, third mate? It seems the window is too small to be traced with vanilla systems from this far. I'm switching to the advanced radio interferometer. It's hiding like a rat. Uh, it was A. So F. A. Yeah, yeah. Now it shows me five, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. So at least one of these is correct. Because it shows me four. So one, two, three, four. You can try A here and zero here. Two. We can try zero here, one here. Three. 7 here, 4 here, um, 4 oh my goodness, um, 3, 7 here, 1 here, 2, 7 here, 0 here, Got it. That is the pen's private key. I could use it to configure it a remote source in space to fake the pen's position. Okay. Uh, I guess you yeah, don't need you anymore. I will put you back in. I just was um, oh. Okay. Uh, this one. Hmm. Think. Disable echo. Okay, great. Um, there's that. We just need something else. So hopefully, I will put the one further from the corona if possible. Or not, because this one is in Cyrillic. Cyrillic. If I insert the Bento's private key here, I'll be able to move its signal. Zero, can I? No. No. Zero. Zero, AF. One. AF. Override. Ah, found you, Kara. Don't do this. Ah, don't worry, I just wanted to make you feel the wrath of God. Obviously, I'm God in that metaphor. You mean it was all a joke? It's all fine and dandy. I'm going to brew some, me some tea and enjoy the end of a decade's long career. I'm sorry, I really don't understand why the crown isn't there. It happens. Oh, what is this? Did you find... Oh no, I apologize, Car. Apparently it's too late. Too late for what? I totally forgot. I fired you those warhead or warheads already, my bad. You're fucking insane. They tell me you have 27 hours before my warheads reach you. You should enjoy them. But I really hope you won't. So long and fuck you, Carl. 
Hagar can recall her back in a week to tell her she missed us. Screw her. I need to call Elle. We might have hidden the pento, but all this shit is very bad news for the corona. Elle, it's Carl. Are you there? Hey Carl, yes, I'm still here. The rescue ship hasn't arrived yet. Elle, the corona is not at the coordinates you gave me. But that's not possible. We are barely drifting. Mm -mm. Maybe your instruments are broken and are giving faulty readings. Our positioning system are one of the few still working. I even used the mechanical system to be sure we were where I told you. Why are you saying we aren't? The can arrived, but you but didn't find you. What? Oh. This is not happening. They're lying. Why are they lying? The captain wasn't lying. She fired two warheads at me because she thought I misled her on purpose. Did you tell her the right coordinates? L. L15 V768 Sector D42 W81. Maybe you gave her the wrong ones. Please call them back. I gave her the right ones, I'm sure. Wait, did you just say that they kind of fired at you? Yes, but don't worry, I hit the station. I'm so sorry, this is all because of me. No, L, it's not. It's because of a captain driven crazy by power hungry corporations like Great Low. But the warheads are not a problem. The problem is the corona not being where it should be. I hope you can help me un understand. There's nothing to understand. We are at the coordinates they gave you. Did you try to find another rescue ship? The rescue ship. Let me try. Please hurry, we can't wait much longer to be rescued. Operator Carl Hamba from Bento Station calling. I need immediate help. Please reply. No one else out there. Did you find another rescue ship? Hmm? That is different. Hmm. Yeah, let me try it, but... Okay, let's... No... Oh no, poor Lilo. You don't think so? Uh, what about... Here. Hmm? Okay, nobody knows what it does. They're doing pumps for the prosthetic. Okay. Farewell, my friend. Would you like to say a few words? Yes. Inside this broken cage for broken beings. You were not just another routine, but my only friend. Hey! Not now, Gorky. The station has no mirrors. Except, maybe, you are mine. Your life confined to a box, trapped inside an infinite routine. So long, Lilo. That was rather self-referential. Let's go. Bye, Lilo. The rescue ship is not the problem the coordinates are. They are not! Oh god, why is this happening? Goki, where is Goki? I need to speak with him. Whee! 
name, Miss Gato. You remember my name correctly this time. Gorky, this is serious. I know. 43.2% of me is very worried, but I can still appreciate good things. Gorky, do you have a direct contact with Glowfield? I don't know what that is. They're one of the biggest corporations in the universe. You must know them. Did you check your database? My database is my soul. I'm always checking it. We have a direct contact with Brain Co. We already know they can help. How can you be so out of touch that you never heard of Glowfield? Carl lives a life of inward abstraction. That's one of the reasons Brain Co. hired him. Brain Co. hired me because of that. Social personalities don't fit our prerequisites. They prefer to be around the center of the universe. The Benton needs those hermits that want to be at the corners. Okay, okay, I'm going to tell you something I left out before. You said the Khan is the worship of a big corporation, right? Yes, Great Low. You must call them back and tell them that this ship is a Glowfield ship. They will change things for sure, or they will be forced to find a way to save us. If this is so helpful, why didn't you tell me before? It's not that simple, we... Wait, no. No, 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 this is crazy. Fuck no. It's... L? What? Damn, this radio. Ugh. Mm. Can we use... Hmm. Can we use one of the forks, forks again? So alarmed just before the connection dropped. I'm not alarmed anymore, I'm just tired. So tired. Call humor me. What year is this? Twi twenty-four thirty-two. Why? Okay. I am so fucked. Why? I realize why the name Great Low was ringing a bell. A horrible, broken, jarring bell. It's what Glowfield was called when they were a military. Before they put on the mask of a leisure goods provider. What are you saying? Car, here is November 2562. I'm 130 years in the future. That's why the Khan didn't find anything on those coordinates. Eh. Maybe you should call them back and tell them to wait there for a while. Fuck. I'm going to die, Carl. This is not possible. You've been starving for days. You're just hallucinating. Please listen to me. Concentrate. It's the year 2432, not 2562. We can find a way. If you start talking about hallucination, there's a serious chance that I'll start thinking that you're not real. Are you real, Carl? I believe I am. Okay, then I believe I know what's real and what isn't. You are 130 years in the past. Deal with it, as I have to. I'm so going to die, Carl. Well, you are not going to die. Then save us. Save me. Don't cry, I'll find a way. Just let me cry. Let me cry until you save me. I will find another solution, trust me. Just give me some time. Please do. I will be here, crying, just a little. 